give password. Okay, so now there's no error here, but we're still having an error here. Why? Uh, that's because when you when you click the sign up um, and everything is okay, something is to tell it you everything is okay. You don't need to be in an error state anymore. So after it goes through all these checks, we cannot just say set form valid into loss. So then when the user comes, select it goes away. Yep. So let's test that again. User me. Um react at gmail call. Okay. So it's okay. So now if the user select after imputing good um good values, you need to tell the user yes. It was successful, uh, just like we have here. Uh, if we push React at com password shows successful. So to do that, we're going to create a success um, error from validity. We're going to create something called. We're going to use the use state for success to show that yes, everything was successful. And it's all right because to use states brackets. So once everything is okay, the form valid is not. That means um, set success to be true. Yes. So now that we put set success to be true, we want to show a successful message to the user, the feedback. That yes, everything was okay. So we're going to just duplicate this. We're going to say success here. We're going to say success here as well. So now, if everything was okay, let's go back to our to our building. Click L. Type username here at uh, gmail.com and put a password. Uh, you can see the the success. Uh, what do we say success to? Not true. See it as we form submitted success fully. Okay, so let's try that. Some submitted successfully, but this is red. We can't have it to be red. We need it to be something that is a success. So you can see here, we have a, we just change it to a successful feedback. So we're going to go back to our code and we'll go here and we change here to be success. So when the user clicks, you can see a shame form submitted successfully. Now, if the user's um, fills the information. If you also the user now goes back and reads nothing, username and clicks. You see, you have this to showing. That's because uh, if the user clicks this button again after the form was submitted successfully, we're supposed to remove this, check again and see if everything is all right, then show our messages. So what we're going to do is that at the beginning of every on click, every on submit, we're going to set um, the success to be null. So this would be react, react at gmail.com and the password. And when we click form submitted successfully, if we then go back and remove every value, any value here and click again, it will remove the success and show an error, which is exactly what we want. So that is okay for now. So now that um, we've checked all of that, we also want to do something with these inputs. Okay, we have them shown. Let's see here. We want to say uh, name. It's plus. 
Yeah, we'll come here. We'll see email. Okay. When we come here, we say password. And we see this. I don't know why this still isn't changing. Okay, perfect. So let's check this off from now. Everything is looking good, man. Everything is looking good. Now, user selects our username and click sign up. And we see the information being given out. That is just exactly what we want. So now we, this is pretty much okay. Let's check back with this. I don't think we missed anything. I think this is perfect. So now we want to do the same thing for our login section. Now it's not really hard. All we have to do is just copy and paste this. Just copy this. Then we're going to go to our login alight and paste then we'll just change changes to login and after we do that we'll just come here and because in our login we only need the user the email and the password so we'll just get rid of the username fields we'll just get rid of the username no need for this no need for this um, no need for this. No need for this. Definitely don't need this. Okay, so I think that is okay. Mail invalid. Password. Okay, this is perfect. Now, in in our demo here, we have a remember me field. Now, this remember me field is if the user wants to be remembered when or like after after he fills his information, and it's very very vital because some users may want you to remember them on that device, and some users may not really want you to remember them on that device. So. What we're going to do now, we're going to look for in our React, we're going to look for this a checkbox. So let's get checkbox here. Okay, now, uh, can we get checkbox that on change exactly? This is what we this this is what we need. Now we're going to import it first of all. Come to our code, our login, material UI, import the checkbox. Now the 